NASA is going to be voyaging to a golden asteroid worth 10,000 quadrillion dollars this fall. Not a joke, not a mispronunciation or a misstatement. Scientists hope studying the rare asteroid will provide new insights into our own planet. They have set a new date for this highly anticipated space mission to a massive metal rich asteroid. Uh, they were going to be going in August of 2022, but since it's a 280 million mile voyage, they want to make sure they get it right. And they had to have some delays and everything else. And so they're going to be going to this asteroid called Psyche. That's named for the Greek goddess of the soul. This uh, asteroid was first discovered in 1852. They considered an ultra valuable asteroid. It appears to be made largely of iron nickel, gold, and other rare metals. Measures 140 miles wide, shaped somewhat like a potato. This, if I'm not mistaken, was basically the plot of the movie Armageddon. Sounds uh, like where, it, yeah. It's you're gonna loosely send, made. <laughs> yeah, you're going to send like, well, oil miners up there at the last minute, a ragtag group of guys uh, to go up there and try to get this extremely valuable uh, asteroid they say that Psyche could be worth 10,000 quadrillion. To give you an idea, 10,000 quadrillion is more than the entire economy of our entire planet. Okay. So, so it's a there you decent have it. amount of money then. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're the guy who has uh, the asteroid Psyche crash into your backyard, well, I guess you'd be dead because it's a couple miles wide. But, but outside of that, if that happens to crash near your Break a piece off of it at least because it's worth 10,000 quadrillion dollars. It's worth more than the entire global economy combined. So, what's in it that we know? Like, I mean, is there gold in this thing or just what I read you already, which was, uh, let me find it again here because it's, it's a bunch of things. It's iron, nickel, gold, and other rare metals. And they know this so, how. Uh, I, that's the real question. I have no idea how they could know it because they clearly haven't been there before. They say it appears to be made of those things. I don't know if it just like uh, is shiny. So they say, oh, it must be gold in there. I don't know. But that is, they're very confident that this is an extremely valuable uh, asteroid for whatever reason. So, hmm. yeah. Yeah. Hmm. And it's so far away that nobody knows anything. <laughs> Right, yeah. anything about it <laughs> no we're just going up to space it's <laughs> and, we'll, and they just throw out the most random number 10, yeah it's like ten thousand quadrillion dollars, dollars. <laughs> doesn't even seem like it's a real <laughs> right <number. laughs> and meanwhile they're going up there and <laughs> putting all these other tracking satellites <laughs> yeah <laughs> jeez yeah yeah i thought it was pretty crazy huh. stuff yeah huh. How long does it take to get 280 million miles somewhere? Oh, it's a trip. It's a haul. There's yeah. no getting around yeah. that. Um, no. I'm not sure exactly. So this thing is going to go up there and extract this stuff. Are we trying to mine it? They're or just studying just, it. Apparently, we just want to study it. So yeah, supposedly. All right. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So their their thing is that uh, for whatever reason, and I don't know why specifically you would need to do this because again, we've known about this thing since 1852. And they say that uh, scientists believe that Psyche, this asteroid, could be the m exposed metallic core of a planet <laughs> planetesimal or newly forming planet that lost its rocky outer layers due to violent collisions during our solar system's early formation. Hmm. This uh, the Psyche mission would be NASA's first ever visit to a world rich in metal rather than rock or ice. Uh, the spacecraft is expected to reach asteroid in August of 2029 and orbit it for 26 months. <laughs> they think that scientists, they hope that studying Psyche uh, could offer new insight into the interior of our own planet because we cannot see or measure uh, Earth's core directly. So mm. the hope is Looking at this, which is essentially what they think is the core of another planet that fell apart, would help them learn about our core. 
which means if they find out that our core is made of gold and valuable metals, they're going to find a way to crack Earth in half. Like, <laughs> we're gonna, it's yeah, gonna, it's going to happen. But it's going to happen. Yeah. Good run. Good run, Earth. We, we yeah. <laughs> we, Appreciate you. We're just going to take a little bit. Okay. 